Hi, I'm Tash from ACS. Peter's going to share with you just how easy it is to set up the oscilloscope for a petrol vehicle. Hi guys, um, my name's Peter from AECS. In our last video we walked through ATIS and we had a look at the amount of brand specific information that's included in the software. Uh, what I want to do in this video is I want to look at the generic information that's included. So from our automotive test and information system we jump into the generic scope side of the software. Now as a start I'm going to go through engine management systems petrol and I'm going to jump into sensors so we can see there that there's engine torque sensors which contains stuff like uh, airflow meter, um, a bunch of other torque related sensors there, then crank angle speed sensors, so anything from hall sensors to inductive speed sensors, uh, throttle position sensors, uh, temperature sensors, oxygen sensors, ignition correction sensors, so that's going to be stuff like your knock sensors vehicle speed sensors, immobiliser stuff and your miscellaneous sensors that sort of cover the rest. So let's jump into crank angle sensors. Here's all the different crank angle sensors that are covered in the, um, in, in the software. So right down the bottom there we can see optical crank angle sensors. So you're pretty, pretty well covered there um, sensor wise. So crank angle sensor, our 024 is our standard two wire inductive pickup. So we can see here in our photos how to connect the oscilloscope. So we've got our channel 1 lead from our oscilloscope connected directly across the component. Uh, you might remember from the previous video that that photo was a picture of the actual component on the vehicle showing you exactly how and where to connect. Now because we're in the generic side of the software it's just a generic photo of a generic hall of, of a generic crank angle sensor, um, and yeah, just showing us how to how to connect. Let's jump straight into the scope software there, and let's have a quick look at what we get. Okay, so our sample pattern there, the purple trace, shows us what we expect to see from this hall effect from this inductive sensor. Let's let's zoom in there, so we can see all of our teeth. All our teeth recorded with our reference mark in the middle of the screen there at the moment. And we've got our nice sample pattern for us to compare our measurement from. So let's go back a step. Along the top here we can see that the scope can also do what's called a measurement combi. Now whenever we see a combination measurement that means that the scope is going to set itself up for a two channel measurement. And guess what? We've got here our channel one connected across the crank angle sensor and our channel two connected to a what looks like a Hall effect cam sensor. Let's see what we load up when we open up the scope software. Our scope software is set up to do a two channel measurement, eight volt scale, um, to record this camshaft over crankshaft measurement. So let's go back to scope generics. So let's go back a step. We're here, we're still in our crank angle speed sensors. I want to grab a petrol injector measurement. So I'm going to go back, back, back to our engine management systems petrol. And now we're going to jump into actuators. This really highlights how simple it is to set up the, the scope software. All you need to go is, hey, what do I want to record? Is it an actuator? Is it a sensor? Is it a petrol vehicle? Now, most people can do that, I'd hope. Injectors, standard petrol injector, a 009 earth switched injector. Shows us a generic petrol injector, generic hookup, so black lead to battery negative, red lead to the signal wire of the injector, and let's start our scope software. And here we've got our standard petrol injector measurement where we see that that injector signal wire is being switched to ground, it's being held low so the injector's opened and then when the ECU releases that switch we get our collapsing magnetic field, so our inductive spike which then eventually settles back down to our system voltage. So we can nicely compare what we're getting with our measurement with the sample pattern of what this petrol injector should be. Let's go back to our actuator section. Injectors, return. In our actuators, we can grab our idle speed control systems, 
ignition coils, relays, emission control systems, immobilizer stuff, or miscellaneous. Now miscellaneous contains all of your extra sort of solenoid valves that we find on, on modern engines. So we've got stuff like wastegate control turbo, manifold length adjustment valves, or camshaft adjustment valve, more commonly known as your, as your VVTi slider. So we can see a black lead connected down to battery negative, red lead measuring our VVTi solenoid valve signal wire, and if we open up the scope, we can see our nice duty cycle controlled pattern on that, on that solenoid valve there. To jump right back to our home page, we can just hit the home button, and now I want to go scope generic, and let's have a look at some diesel patterns.